What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. You know, it's taken almost, uh, I don't know, three years, two years, or something like that. But I finally found a reason to buy some Icon tools. And you guys are going to want to stick around because this video is going to get spicy. And I mean, in a hurry. So I made it in and out of Harbor Freight. A lot of you been following this channel know that Harbor Freight's not a big fan of CP. But so without ado, let's talk about what I did. I'm gonna post up a little snippet right in here of my little journey into Harbor Freight. And you guys can watch that and we'll come back and we're gonna talk about this. We are on a secret mission to go into Harbor Freight to pick up some stuff. We're gonna record Stell Hila. I will say the door on the side locker is pretty decent. Definitely not the best paint quality. <coughs> ah, here we go. I can't. So we want to see. $39.99 for a set of sockets, 3H drive, metric and standard, so $40, keep that in mind. Are these new? The big hex sockets? Yep. Yep. 36, 33. Hmm. Which one of these should we get? The needle nose? I'm kind of thinking they need a mouse. The smell. The stench. It's just unbearable in here. I gotta tell you. It's making my nostrils flare up. Alright, well, the couple minutes that it took to do that, you guys come back, and now you can see. I spent $92.34 at Harbor Freight, and what I bought here was a quarter-inch ratchet, a three-eighths ratchet, and the new Needle Nose Icon 8-inch pliers. Uh, why did I buy these? Because I want to compare these to the Snap-ons, and I do believe I have a Snap-on Needle Nose. So, and uh, I got to tell you right off the rip, I, these handles are definitely not as nice as Snap-on. They look like the Snap-on. They're not quite as nice, but we'll, we'll get into looking at those. Let's crack these open and, uh, hold on. All right, so I figured out I had to do a little surgery. We had to open the box up all the way. Let's get the other one opened up here. I'm trying to do this gingerly because these, these are probably going to get returned. And you'll see why after the video. But we're going to do a quarter inch and a three eighths. Now everybody's going, CP, why did you buy a quarter inch and three eighths? Now, let me give you a little, let me give you a little rundown first about why. Uh, I am, we got this little fancy cloth. We're not even going to get that out. 90 tooth ratchet. Ooh, that is stiff. 
That is extremely stiff. That is crazy stiff. We're not even going to get that cloth out. Over, overkill on the packaging here, but the three eighths is much better. But man, that that quarter inch is. I'm not even kidding you. There's the back drag on that. You think I'm joking? Uh, the back drag on that. Look at that. I'm holding that by the anvil. There's no trickery here, but I'm holding that by the anvil, and it won't even fall. Crazy. We're going to talk about this pliers in a different deal, so I'm going to set this aside. Uh, why did I buy the quarter inch 3 attraction? Now, a little backstory real quick about why I don't, why I'm not a big fan of Harbor Freight. First of all, I'll throw in a couple of screenshots of some uh, um, media stuff, some, some stuff, not my words. But uh, I don't, I don't really support the fact. Um, I don't like the fact that there was some. Alan Schmidt was the founder of CEO, the founder of the mail order company. Which, if you don't know, it was a, it was a mail order tool company. Alan Schmidt is the father of Eric Schmidt, and quite frankly, they he he uh, they sued their own son for looting the company, and then he, they he overthrew him, and then he took it. So I feel like a family business shouldn't go that way, but. Um, for whatever reason, they had that discrepancy. Not only that, Eric Smith is worth upwards of six billion dollars, and even the employees say they don't get treated fairly. Which I'll show another clip of that right there. Not my words; that's their words, uh, and them coming forward. And Harbor Freight is basically uh, a rebrand company, which is uh, pretty relevant in the in the economy nowadays. You know, I mean, there's a lot of rebrand companies and. We understand that people put their name on a tool made in Taiwan, which is relevant to this. Uh, this is made in Taiwan. Uh, this is the uh, 56188. Is that the part number on this icon? Uh, the actual size 7 16 90 tooth polished chrome. Actually, the part number is this right here, which is a R1QR. Right there's the part number on that. So. These ratchets, as we've seen in here, uh, besides that, oh, uh, and also Eric Schmidt is an anti-2A supporter, which I'm a 2A guy, uh, just to put that out there. Uh, you know, that's I, I, I believe in the Second Amendment. So if you're supporting against the First or the Second Amendment, you know, it's kind of, I think that's not good. Anyways, all politics aside, because I'm not a big pol political guy, but I paid $33.99 and $36.99. And then if you noticed in the video, I showed a quarter inch drive set and a three inch drive set. They were also roughly 40 bucks. So that's $80 plus the, uh, what do we got here? 60, uh, 70 bucks basically for these ratchets. So if you were going to buy a set of shallow sockets for each drive in, so this, this with a quarter inch drive set of sockets, is going to cost you upwards of $75, and this is going to be $75. So you're going to be $150 into this set for a set of shallow sockets and whatnot. Well, what I found, clear back in July, I had a uh, Taiwanese manufacturer throw a little uh, birdie in my ear, and he said, CP, did you know that they actually sell manufacturer a Harbor Freight toolkit under another name called EP Auto. And I said, by God, I did not. Let me open this bad boy up. Ladies and gentlemen, for $35 versus spending $150, which we're talking three times the price, you can now buy on Amazon for a limited time because the minute this video goes out, it's going to be ridiculous. This Harbor Freight set of sockets and ratchets for $35. And if you don't think that these are not the same, well, I will just give you a little side-by-side -side comparison. That is the identical ratchet made in Taiwan. Same handle, same everything. Now, I will tell you this. When I tried ordering this back in July, they had taken these off the market. And there's a reason for that. And that's because they were stamping these with the RS number on the ratchet. The part number was not the exact same. It was this is an R R2S, which they had on the ratchets then. But these are the identical ratchets. And what we're gonna do is crack these open and see if these head kits will actually fit in here. But 
these are pretty much the identical same ratchet in every shape where in every shape pretty much these are <laughs> i mean the handles 90 tooth uh, in fact let me show you the box that it says here because it'll show 90 tooth ratchet same identical everything here made in taiwan from ep auto and i gotta tell you the ep auto ratchet much smoother about in the back drag and that is once again me holding it by the anvil just showing you just letting it fall the icon not as smooth so let's crack these open let's see if we can change the head kits in them just to verify <laughs> that this is the exact same identical ratchet oh they did change up something ah little sneaky devils okay so they changed these up a little bit now oh that's the manufacturers changing they were the same exact head kit but now they've changed them up so these will not work but for more or less that's why they've done this harbor freight must have gotten on this because they were the exact identical same ratchet for the most part uh, otherwise you can tell they're coming from the exact same manufacturer but for $35 I'm telling you what right now I would rather buy the EP auto than the icon Let's see if they'll fit in the same spot oh look at that huh let's just put the icons right in the same exact spot <laughs> you couldn't tell a difference in there they're I mean they're pretty much they're the identical same set now the sockets are even, uh, they're nice too. And once again, for $35, you get extensions, you're getting your quarter inch, 530 seconds, all the way up to 916, and you're getting your metric all the way up to 13 millimeter, and then you're getting your 3 8 uh, standard all the way up to 11 16 19 millimeter, 19 millimeter on the 3 8 and then your... Uh, Let's see, these are quarter inch. Where do they start? Three eighths. So the three eighths is from five sixteenths up to eleven six or three quarter. That goes up the three eighths is up to three quarter. So standard and metric. So I just showed you a standard metric on a three eighths was forty bucks. So actually this kit's more money. Because when you factor in the quarter inch set, which goes uh let's see, not five thirty seconds, this is more money. So this kit to buy from Icon. Is going to cost you roughly over two hundred dollars. That's an amazing difference to buy this for thirty five dollars on Amazon. I will put a link in the description of this, but but this is why it's always good to look around. And rebranding is relevant now. Some of you will say probably, "Oh, I can go back into Harbor Freight," but are you willing to pay that type of inflation? I mean, a lot of you talk about Snap on prices of inflation. This is a two hundred percent inflation rate. To buy icon i mean these two ratchets alone are 70 dollars versus this whole entire kit for 35 bucks let me look here oh they've definitely so they've updated these what they've done is they changed the heads on them just a little bit but there's both still 90 tooth the handles are still the same they took the rs part number off them i'm wondering if there wasn't some uh tomfoolery going on there to be honest with you, we're seeing a little bit of difference there. I will. I know the head kit will not fit now for sure, but I can tell you this much: the EP Auto is a much better tool, 100%. Just based alone off of opening up the quarter inch ratchet. Uh, they said this is a low profile. Let's just see the width here. The icon is a little bit shallower on the quarter inch. A little bit shallower. Let's see about the three eighths. The three eighths is identical. The three eighths is really there's no difference. They're the exact same width, so the three eighths is no change. Uh, both the same length, pretty much. They just kind of shortened. They added more material right here on the ratchet on this one, and shortened up the head kit. I'm wondering if that's just a manufacturer change they made, but nonetheless, I would definitely not get Icon. That's the whole point of this video. So, member guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell, remember.
Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.